Good morning, Lorraine. Okay, I see uh, by my clock that it is 9 o'clock and it is time for Wednesday's edition of Cup of Faith. Thank you for taking a few minutes of your time to join me. Over the past few weeks, I've been bringing a topic to you that I hope increases your faith. And what I mean by that is increase your confidence in God, in the character of God, in the promises of God, and in the track record of God. So far, we have talked about the God who runs to us. This was a story from the, fa from the prodigal son where the father literally ran to embrace his son and declare him found and alive. Last week, we talked about the God who sees and hears us. This was a story of Hagar, who had left her, her husband or her master, depending on what you read, and with her son alone in the desert, sobbed, and she said she could not bear to watch the boy die. But the angel declared to her that God had seen the boy's tears and had heard his cries. So the God who sees and hears us. Today, for a moment, I'd like to talk about the God who thinks of us. Not too long ago, Brenda and I received a gift in the mail from a friend that we have known for over 25 years who lives in Swift Current. At first, we didn't quite understand what the gift was about. And then it began to dawn on us. It was a recollection of a joke we had shared 20 years ago. As we exchanged Facebook messages after, I told her how much we both appreciated that she had actually thought of us. Doesn't it make you feel extra special when you know somebody is thinking of you? They either tell you that or they send you a gift or in some way acknowledge that you're on their thoughts. Well, sometimes in our Christian walk, we think that it's, it's about our effort how hard we try and how hard we think about God. But the other side of that coin is, is that God thinks of us. From Psalm 115, verse 12, it says, The Lord remembers us and will bless us. How precious it is, Lord, to realize that you are thinking about me constantly. And from Psalm 40, verse 17, As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. So when we realize that God is thinking about us, and God is thinking about us right now, it will remind us that we are not alone. It will remind us that we are safe. It will remind us that we're cherished. So have a great week, everybody. Cheers, and enjoy your cup of faith.